inform action monitored uh, mass voter registration in we used seven offices one in Kericho another one in Kisi Kisumu Mombasa Maralal uh, Isiolo and one other place and some of these things are very very common multiple registration using the same ID we saw that in Maralal and several other places uh, wrong information somebody would go with an ID the ID is correct in terms of the names but the photo is wrong uh, the registration we also found that the registration centers did not open in good time so sometimes they open at 9 but you don't find them closing say at uh, 6 or 7 so the registration times opening and closing were not very common we also found that uh, the clerks were very casual with the way they handled the equipment in one case we found uh, the kids being transported using a wheelbarrow i don't know whether it is losaka's wheelbarrow but it was being transported in that mode which is not secure and we don't think that was the proper way to transport we also found in one case in kisi i think where the password to the equipment or to the software was put on the uh, on the computer which means anybody could access that kind of thing so there was a number of those issues um, another worrying trend is uh, where the politicians took over the process and started uh, intimidating people to register this was common in places like uh, nyanza kisumu particularly and also nyeri in some places in nyeri they said you cannot take beer if you are not registered and in nyanza you saw in kisumu we saw some people being stopped from entering Kisumu. Uh, that to us was a cause of concern. So some of those issues uh, were very, very common in the places that we went to. Uh, there was also the question of very many transfers. We say that these transfers are not necessarily legal, but when so many of them take place, it's a cause of concern. So in terms of mass voter registrations, those are some of the findings. If I can quickly uh, address the issue of uh, party primaries. The first thing that we found is that no political party had a register. What they did was to get the register from IBC for a polling station and say that that is the register. So actually IBC should sue the political parties for misusing the register. There is no single political party that we came had a register. And in some cases, it was not even clear who was supposed to vote. Is it the person who is uh, supposed to be a member or is it the person who is registered in that polling station? The problem also of the register is that um, in some cases, some political parties decided to do away with the register altogether. So you produce your ID and uh, membership card and sometimes even the membership card was not there. So you have a situation where literally everybody is voting. And in one case in Meru, uh, there were problems and uh, somebody just decided to go away with the ballot materials and we ended up in a police station. So the police officer was surprised that political parties could do, be doing their work without a register. Uh, in some cases, uh, Jubilee used uh, photocopied ballot papers. In the first uh, phase, they had uh, done some materials which were very good. Uh, they had some serial numbers and they were in color. But when the registration was postponed for a second time they used photocopies which again is a room gives room for manipulation um, kisumu had a very funny odm had a very funny observation that we came across true to their name they democratized the tiling center so there was no formal tiling center there was no one place where you could collect all your votes. That is why you had one person being declared a winner in this tiling center and in another one. Our team tried to look for the formal tiling center and we did not get. Uh, some of the places, like in Bomet, uh, people were queuing to do the primaries and then the postponement came when they were on the, on the queue, which is uh, an indication of a level of disorganization the postponement of the elections, particularly uh, uh, this was very common in 
political parties, Jubilee, ODM, and in this particular case, CCM. In Maralal, we came, there was no voting because in the course of the party primaries, an operation was going on. This is something that was peculiar to those regions. Remember, this is an area that has been affected by uh, ban uh, cut wrestling and violence. Uh, then the final comment on party primaries is about security. That in most cases you found, we found that there were one or two policemen uh, manning the, the nominations. But in most cases they were lax. They would stay until there was violence and then they would come up to try and uh, reduce, deal with the violence. So those are some of the observations. I would refer you to for for issues to do with the MVR2, we have a very good report here called uh, Gateway to the Ballot Box, which talks about the mass voter registration. And in terms of party primaries, we are going to, reduce, to produce a report. Thank you.